strap yourselves in because this is gonna be a long video. Grab yourself a coffee or a drink because I'm about to do my favorites. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Christian and this is CXC Beauty. I'm a little dressed down today, relaxed, just comfortable. So today we have my February favorites and beyond and a little bit of disappointments. Um, but I say beyond because I haven't done a favorites video in I don't even remember how long. So I have so many products that I like and I, I'd like to tell you about. Yeah, there's just a bunch of stuff. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so my favorite base or primer that I've been using at the current moment is gonna be this MAC Strobe Cream and this is the one in the golden shade called Gold Light. Um, this product is amazing. It pumps out white like this and then when you spread around you see like the gold flecks in it and it just gives you a nice dewy finish to your skin. It's, if you like that luminous uh, dewy foundation this would be a really good primer. Now for my favorite drugstore primer um, if you watch my previous videos I believe I've used this but it's the Wet n Wild Cover All Primer and it's just like a very silky it comes out white like this and you spread it out and it's very silky and it makes your makeup last a really long time and I really enjoyed this one for the drugstore. Now for eyes my favorite eye primer I have gotta say of all time is this Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. This stuff makes all your shadows just stick and be like the brightest they can be. Um, so I really like this primer. It is a little thick but once you spread it out it's really nice. And it reminds me sort of like um, Benefit for Professional but a little more slick. So that's my favorite eye primer. I don't have a drugstore favorite eye primer. So my favorite high-end foundation I've been using for a while now is going to be this one, which is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I use um, the color Warm Beige, but this foundation is amazing. The only two negatives that I would say is that you don't get a lot of product in here. You get 7.2 grams. So Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation, you get 12.5 grams. This one, you only get 7.2 grams. So you don't get a lot of product and it's um, pretty expensive. And the second part, I did drop this. I dropped this on the floor when I first bought it. And the package feels sturdy and looks sturdy, but when I dropped it, literally the entire tube of foundation just and it went everywhere and it made it super dirty. But I was able to put it back in, so. Now for my favorite drugstore foundation right now, and I know I recently tried it, but I knew as soon as I tried it that I loved it is this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This stuff is amazing. And I'm in the shade Desert Beige. It's what I'm wearing right now. And it's just stunning foundation. And the best thing about this, it's only $5.99 at the drugstore. So really good value. And um, it's just great. The only thing I don't like is this thing, this paddle thingy. It doesn't have a pump or anything, it just has like a little paddle you pull out. And I don't I don't really like that. I wish it was a pump. It'd be much more easier. Okay, so moving on to concealers. I have two favorites, and they're both kind of high-end. But um, the reason I have two different favorites is because I use one is my favorite for like filming, because it's much more full coverage, and one is my favorite for like real life. It's gonna be quite obvious which one I love because it's everyone's favorite, but my favorite for filming, because it is so full coverage, is gonna be the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I use shades medium and tan. Uh, depending on my skin tone at the moment, or if I've been tanning or outside a lot, I either use one, or mix them, or just use tan, but this is a great concealer. For every day, um, something not as full coverage and not as thick, I use the Dior Star Concealer. This is super creamy, really nice, um, and I use shade 002. I just love this concealer because it gives a really natural look, and I just put it on. I don't put any powder on it. It doesn't crease on me, and it's a very good concealer. It seems like you're paying a lot of money for it, but you do get six mils in here. So to compare like um, the Urban Decay Naked Skin one, you get 
uh, five mils and you pay $28 and this you pay $35 and you get a whole six mils. So it's not actually that much more expensive than your average concealer. Okay, so now for setting the face, even though I don't like to use too much powder anymore, uh, when I film I do use powder just because with bright lights and everything, if you have any shine, it's intensified by like a hundred times. <laughs> My favorite powder for setting, um, probably the center of the face, is gonna be Laura Mercier. But then sometimes this can be a little too like white casty on me. And I love to use this one, which is the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Banana. And this is like the classic trendy powder that was used for like the Kim Kardashian, the highlight and all that stuff. This was like the powder to use. Now for bronzer, if you do watch my videos, you would know what my favorite bronzer is because <laughs> I literally use it in every single video. Um, it's the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and it's just a very beautiful bronzer. Now it is a little bit orangey, but I do like that um, orangey bronze look. So, and it is for fairly dark um, complexion. So when I am lighter, I do use a very light hand with this but I do like to put this everywhere. Now from the drugstore, I know this isn't quite a bronzer, but the bronze shade in this is amazing. And it's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Caramel Toffee. This bronze color right here is really, really nice. And so is the highlight color. I just use mostly the bronze color because this um, yellow is a little bit too pale for me. Now after I usually do my face, I go into eyebrows. So my next favorite product is gonna be my favorite brow products. Now for brow pencil, my favorite, my definite, definite favorite is gonna be this Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I have two shades here. I have shades five and six. And uh, the reason I have two different shades, it just all depends. Five is a little bit warmer and six is a little bit more of your um, ashier shade. So this is the two. On top I have here number five, which is a more chocolatey warm brown. And then under I have number six, which is a more gray tone brown. I like the gray tone one. It gives a, more, more, a much more natural look. And then I use the reddish one um, when I want something a little bit warmer. And then a more affordable alternative. This isn't drugstore, but it is very affordable. Is this ColourPop Brow Pomade in Branding Brunette. This is much warmer. It's like a warm chocolate shade, but this stuff glides on like butter. And then once it sets, it doesn't go anywhere. So I really love this ColourPop Brow Pomade as an alternative. Uh, High-end highlight right now, and you'd probably know this if you watch my videos too. Sorry, I've had too much coffee and I'm a little excited. Is gonna be this one, which is the Dior Nude Air Skin Luminizer in 001, and it's just the most beautiful champagne gold color. And this, the reason I love this is because it can be subtle, but also you can pack it on and make it really intense, or you just spray it with a little, well, don't spray the pan. I spray the brush with a little bit of like Fix Plus or a mixing medium, and it gives you that intense metallic look. And it's just a beautiful formula. And I love how, like, as much as I use it, it still has like the emboss in it. It's a, it feels stiff in the pan, like really sturdy, but it goes on like butter. It's just such a beautiful product. Okay, so in keeping it in the highlighter family, uh, my favorite drugstore highlighter right now is actually a liquid one, and it's this Maybelline Master, it's this Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid. This stuff is just so amazing, but it's just like the most metallic, liquid, I don't know if you can see that, but it just gives a beautiful sheen and it, it's really intense. So I really like this and I also like layering this under a powder. So I'll lay this down and then I'll put the Dior Skin Highlighter over it and it just gives you that beaming glow. <sighs> Man, I'm out of breath. Okay, so for eyes, I don't have any favorite eyeshadows right now. I mean, I love my MAC eyeshadows and I have a bunch of different eyeshadow palettes. I just wasn't able to really narrow it down and I didn't want to make this too long. But I do have an eyeshadowy product. Um, this is the Tom Ford Eyeshadow Cream Shadow in Pink Haze. And this is on my favorites because 
it's just such a beautiful color and it's beautiful. I use this a lot um, during Valentine's and I also did a Valentine's Day video using this shade. Uh, you could find that. I'll link it down below. Now moving on to liner. Um, another product that I use a lot in almost all of my videos, but my favorite eyeliner is this Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen. Um, this is just such a wonderful, really dark black liner and what I really like about this, it has two different sides. So on one side, it's a tiny, tiny little tip that gives you the most precise application that you could possibly get. And it's just so beautiful. And then on the other side, it has like a brush tip. Um, so it's not felt tip, it's an actual brush. And it's just so beautiful. It's so easy to use, so easy to... So for mascaras, I have two and they're both high end but I really do like them both. Um, the first one is the one I use in all my videos pretty much now, is the Dior Dior Show Mascara, and this is actually the brown shade. I also have black, I use them interchangeably. Brown I use for every day, because it's more natural looking, and it, it doesn't look so intense. And then black I use for when I film videos. So my honorable, my honorable mention for mascara is going to be Benefit Roller Lash, which is another great mascara. I do love this one, mainly because of the wand. It's just one of those silicone smaller wands, and I can get right into my lower lash line with this. And it's just wonderful. And now, moving on to the lips. So my current favorite lip product right now is going to be this Dior Lip Glow. I did give one of these away. Um, as a giveaway because I love this product so much so nice feeling. I mean It's technically a lip balm and I'm pretty sure you can get a bunch of lip balms for cheaper Than this that work the same, but I just love how this makes my lips feel it is the pink shade So on me when I put this on it just kind of enhances my natural lip color but I did put this on Tony and his lips turn bright pink. So it all just depends on your lip color and your pH, I guess. And it changes color, so beware. If you don't like pinky stuff, um, this might turn really pink on you. So as far as lipsticks, my favorite products right now are these MAC Retro Mattes. And I just love these two colors that I did get. Uh, I bought Burn Spice, which is, I would say, a more mauve nude. So that is Burnt Spice. And then I have Lady Be Good, which is a more sort of peachy nude. Also very beautiful. And I love this color, um, Lady Be Good, because I found a Tarte lip paint, and it was just like a mini that came in a holiday gift, and it was in the shade Candy, which is this one. And it's literally the same exact color. Maybe a tad bit darker, but it's very similar to that Lady Be Good color from MAC. So I really love that. For drugstore liquid lips, my new favorite, and I love these so, so much, are these Wet n Wild Catsuit Liquid Lipsticks. They're matte, they're beautiful, and they are so affordable, which is the best thing about them. Um, I did do a video on these where I did like a drugstore Valentine's Day look and I did these with the first impression So I will link that down below if you want to check that out Or just go back through my videos. It's the drugstore Valentine's Day one, but these are the bomb.com Okay, so my favorite setting sprays are no secret because I use this in a lot of my videos But uh, my high-end one is gonna be the Urban Decay all-nighter spray and I don't have the new packaging because I don't use it that often where I've needed to buy more, but um, yeah, they updated the packaging and it's now different. But this spray is amazing, it's really nice. And then for drugstore, which is a good, good alternative to that one, is this Milani Make It Last setting spray. This stuff is beautiful, I'm actually wearing it right now. <coughs> you can use it before and after. And you can use it to intensify your eyeshadows, sort of like a Fix Plus. It's very good, and I highly recommend this product. So now for products I did not like. And this one has been kind of like in my drawer for since about Christmas, because it came in like a holiday bundle thing. And I did give these away in my holiday party 
because I do I did like little gift bags for everybody, but I didn't test them out. And I recently just test these out, and these are the NYX lip lingerie uh, liquid lipsticks. These are the worst liquid lipsticks I've ever tried in my life. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna say about that because they're just horrible. <laughs> now, I do have an eyeliner product. Um, I tested this in a recent video, the same Valentine's drugstore video. This Maybelline Master Precise felt tip pen liner thing. This, I, it just didn't work out for me. I mean, when you really press it, you get a beautiful dark black line but when you're applying it onto your eye and you're trying to make a, a really precise wing line, this stuff is just horrible. It like drags on your eye and then it gets dry halfway and you have to keep shaking. It's just really, really bad. And I didn't like it. I don't know if I'm using it wrong, um, but if I am, leave it in the comments below because I'd like to maybe rediscover or retry this because it did cost 10 bucks and for a drugstore I think that's a lot for a liner but yeah let me know if I'm doing this wrong another product from the drugstore that I did not like and it's purely because it just looks very light on my skin is this physician's formula translucent pearl powder and I bought this because I forget who recommended it to me but they said it was a really luminous like setting powder and it gave a beautiful beautiful glow and I did use it and I tried it, but it's just like too light for my complexion and it leaves like a cast. And also it came with this kind of weird brush that is like so hard and stiff and itchy. Not like I use these brushes that come with the thingies, but it's just, it's just a waste. Why include this brush if it's not that good, you know? Just might as well not even include it. <laughs> So moving on to skincare, I'm gonna try to do this pretty quickly because my video is already 25 minutes long. Um, usually I shower and then I go ahead in with this Glow Tonic by Pixi. Pixi by Petra is sold at Target. Um, I believe that's the only place you can find it, but this Glow Tonic is amazing. This is empty because I went ahead and put it in a little spray bottle and it just makes it a little more convenient to use. And I just spray it on my face and then wipe it with a little cotton pad. So this glow tonic is really nice. Now for moisturizer, the one I've been using for a while now um, is this Mario Badesco Peptide Renewal Cream. This stuff, when you put it on your face, it just makes your face look brand new and it feels so good. And I have noticed a difference. All my fine lines have been very minimized. So if you're looking for a good moisturizer that's a good price, this one at Ulta, very good. Now this is, I haven't tried it too much, but the days I've had it, it's been like a, a week or so. It's been working really good as a like uh, alternative to my Mario Badesco, but it's the Kiehl's Age Defender Moisturizer for Men. Now this says it's firming, lifting, anti-wrinkle treatment for men. I, ha I don't think it's really firming, but it does give me wonderful like moisture and it makes my skin feel very hydrated so I do like that about it and it has like a eucalyptus -y smell so I really like that too. I'll keep testing this product out and let you know more about it. Now for eye cream for the during the day I love using this one it's the Kiehl's Eye Alert. This has like a gel feel to it it's very smooth very lightweight and it has caffeine in it so it gives you that like boost and it feels cooling so it really feels like it's working. So I really like this for under the eyes. Now when I want to have that baby soft smooth skin, uh, the exfoli exfoliator I use is this one. It's the Jack Black Face Buff Energizing Scrub. And I use this about three times a week just to get rid of all that dead skin, all that gunk and everything. And I like to use this in the morning because it has like that really energizing like citrusy slash minty feel to it so it's very wonderful it is a little rough because it has this like fine bamboo powder ish kind of stuff in it i believe it's bam yeah bamboo powder so if you go in too hard it will it'll be a little bit rough but i really do enjoy this another kiehl's product i've been enjoying a lot is this hand cream and i got this like with a gift with purchase but it's just a rich, um, very thick hand cream and it's grapefruit, 
grapefruit scented, so it smells really yummy and citrusy. And I really love this product. It makes your hands feel like a baby's butt. And then last thing, finally, because it's been 28 minutes, uh, my favorite thing to smooth out my beard is this Maestro Classic Beard Butter. It sounds funny, but it's just like a cream for your beard. And you put this on and it smells, it smells so nice. It smells like a fresh barbershop kind of like smell. And it just makes my beard feel so nice. And it takes away all the itchiness that I might have for my beard. So if you have a beard and you need something to take away the itch, this is your product to get. I got mine at Target and it was fairly affordable. But um, I'll link it down below so you can find it if you need it. Okay everyone, so that's it for my monthly favorites and beyond because there was definitely beyond product here. Um, I hope this video wasn't too long and I didn't bore you. I had a lot of coffee today so I had plenty of energy to do this long video. If you like my channel, if you like my videos, go ahead and subscribe. Also leave me a comment below letting me know if you love any of these products that I mentioned today. <coughs> and I'm out of breath. And or if you have any video recommendations for the future, leave those in the comments below as well. I really enjoyed being with you guys here and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye! <laughs>